Hi everyone, my name is Madupe. Welcome to my channel if you're new. My channel is all about career, lifestyle, um, you know, advice for millennials, young people trying to make their way through the working world. Also vibe videos on finance and, and all things corporate related. Welcome. Now today's video is going to be different. I'm going to be talking about um, marriage and um, kind of like my mindset and how my mindset towards marriage has changed. You know being 23 yeah being 23 in this new age in this new world I, I consider myself to be very traditional in the sense that I've always been brought up to you know I have the idea that I'm gonna finish uni get my dream job um, or work in like finance um, consulting whatever it is get a really good high paying job and after that um, you know get a house buy a house build a family find a husband um where i can you know build a family someone i can build a family with and i thought i'll be able to get married by i in my, when i was younger in my head i had the limit of like age 25 between 25 and 28 definitely i thought in my late 20s i'll be married and yeah that that was just me you know get get a good job finish university with a good grade get a good job get a car get a house get married yeah you know meet the love of my life and you know he will rock my world and my life will change and i'm just gonna be so in love and then life happened and you know reality check i really think that life is not what it used to be uh, many many years ago things have really changed it's not as easy to find you know the man of your dreams people have different priorities now and that i feel like when i say people have different priorities i'm going to be honest and say um a lot of people are money driven um the idea that money brings happiness and you see all over social media on instagram everywhere you go people buying the latest handbags the latest um clothes um you know talking about business talking about getting properties which i mean it's all good in terms of getting properties you know people should talk about these things it's good for people to be knowledgeable no one obviously wants to be broke but i think it's now becoming like it's everywhere you see it and some people are actually i believe some people are fake they you know they present this whole idea that they present this idea that they're rich you know they they're wealthy they're always looking nice always going out to places you know always getting your money up that's all i see like quotes and all of that anyway how does this all relate to marriage and everything but i'm just trying to paint a picture of um, people's mindset so in the traditional sense you know men in in my culture you know men are the one that you know pursue they pursue a woman you know to get married you know settle down by like their late 20s or early 30s where i believe like now i believe people's priorities are different in my opinion like the men i've come across i'm not saying all men are like this but that is not their priority to get married straight away hence why the timeline is now different people do want to people want to build and do a lot of things before they become um settled um down in a relationship and settled with somebody and i think a lot of things in life right now is more glorified like uh, you know having loads of money um you know wearing the latest trend um just all these things on social media is more glorified than you know the our, you know the old traditions you know getting married finding a wife finding a husband so finding someone you truly love and you can settle um settle down with you can build a future with i think all of that is i hope not totally gone but it's like taking a back seat all of these things have just affected how i my view on marriage like people are not as traditional i remember one of my friends was telling me that a lot of people are not a lot more people nowadays are not um as religious i think statistics about the percentage of people um who are not in a religion is a lot less than you know before and i think you know that has an impact um on on people's view on marriage i'm now going to talk about what my mindset is so i kind of spoke about what my mindset was before so now the way i look at marriage um i don't look at it as 
I'm gonna find someone by the age of 28 that's gonna rock my world. I don't see it as that anticipating factor where by I'm just waiting for someone to come. I'm just waiting for my wedding day. All of those things. I, I mean, obviously, when it does happen, I will be excited. I will be happy. I do still want to find the love of my life and all of those things. But I think it's, it's very important to manage your expectations. And the way I think right now, I, I don't think of waiting for that one person that's going to rock my world. I don't think it's going to be like that at all. So I don't have that expectation. I don't have the expectation that um, the person I'm going to be with will be, you know, this and this and this, or have all these things that I have in my head, um, you know, the, the um, qualities that I, I want to see in a partner. I don't, I don't believe that you find someone that hits all those single qualities. Hopefully you, meet, you find someone that meets most of them, but I just want to manage my expectations and I don't want to, I don't want to derive happiness from the thought of marriage um i don't want that to control my mind and it's a very very dangerous thing because sometimes hope is kind of dangerous where you you paint this picture of what you feel your partner is going to be like you paint this picture of what you feel marriage is going to be like and then it then happens and you're just like you know all these things everything in your life you believe has led up to this moment and then you you you're in it and you're thinking this is not what i expected and it can kind of it could be very very discouraging it could be disheartening and it's just a very dangerous thing um to do so rather than the thinking the traditional way get a job get um get married have kids i think it's very very important to also put yourself first think about yourself think about um your other dreams your goals your hobbies and focus around that so i'll give you ex and i'll give you an example one thing about me is that i am very career driven i love um i love working i love um finance i love my finance job and my focus is to get really good at my job not just so i can move up the ranks and get a higher salary um it's mostly because i actually enjoy what i what i do i want to also manage people um i want to also be like a mentor to somebody else all of those things are important to me um being able to you know have my own house where that i could call my own um live in a lovely environment being able to take care of my family being able to be in a position whereby i can um not only take care of myself but take care of my family and you know really add value to the lives of people around me be able to go on holidays especially to visit um, my home country nigeria and be able to stay there a bit longer and just meet different people and you know embrace my culture a lot more and these things are important to me you know living a very healthy lifestyle and you know just training and making sure i become a better version of myself physically and mentally and i think those are the things that um you should be thinking about you should be putting um forward like I'm not saying don't think about marriage marriage is definitely important and is i do want to be um you know with um the partner of my dreams but i just think it's very important to manage your expectations and have different um you know different goals in your head and don't put marriage as the be all and end all and if you don't get married by this age then this happens and i think that was my mentality then and i believe it's changed now and i'm actually very grateful for that and it's just that you need to be able to derive happiness from within yourself and not relying on other people so saying oh when you get a house you're gonna have, be happy when you um find the partner of your dreams you're gonna be happy when you have children you're gonna be happy you need to be happy within yourself because even when those things happen you might find out that you're actually not as you're not as happy because these things didn't meet the expectations that you had that you set your yourself so manage 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 your expectations i think that's very important and to think about you what what are the things that you like that you enjoy doing that um takes up your time that is outside that you know that is just to do with you and not to do with um you know other people i don't know if that makes sense but that's what i'm trying you know that's what i'm trying to get it's, it's something i've been thinking about and i had a conversation this conversation with my dad and i thought it'll be interesting to actually put that out there and you know let you know let you guys know and um, you know what i'm thinking and maybe if it's something you're thinking about too 
so i just want to let you know that it's very very important not to not to derive happiness from other human beings not to not to seek it and not to rely on other human beings to make you happy that's essentially what i what i'm trying to get out there you need to try and make yourself from ha happy from from within and it's not something that's just easy to achieve definitely we all struggle through it i struggle as well day by day you know trying to, to just understand how i can make myself happier how i can actually do the things i love without actually relying on other people and i think that's that should just be your thinking how can i make each day better for myself what can i do how can i improve myself rather than having this um elaborate or i don't know this imagination that someone is going to um change your world or you know once you get married this is what's going to happen this is what your life is going to be like i just don't think like that anymore i don't think that's what that's the case and i really want to also let you guys know that even if you're in your late 20s even if you're in your early 30s and you're not married it's not the end of the world it's not everyone that's married that has children that that's happy inside marriage doesn't necessarily bring you total happiness and you know you just you can't just think once you're married you're just going to be a happy person um i think it's, it's way beyond that you need to understand that marriage comes with hard work finding the right partner comes is a lot of hard work you can't just settle down with anybody um it's it's way beyond that so i just yeah I, my point is is that you just need to manage your expectations but i hope you guys have enjoyed this video um please like comment and subscribe if you enjoy watching this video and i will see you in my next video bye